Hi guys, hope you're doing really well and all had a fantastic weekend. I am coming at you today with 10 ways in which to hack the matrix. We are living in crazy times and um, there are ways in which we can feel better, live out our purpose and still be happy in what I would say is pretty much a mental asylum. So here is the 10 ways that I have come up with. So hack one stay healthy. We have so many chemicals in our food, water, um, even in the air now. It's so imperative that we look after our health, look after our temples. Um, you know, it's the number one way of basically sticking the middle finger up at the system because uh, they do everything to dumb us down, make us feel ill, keep us reliant on their pharmaceutical drugs. So by eating a good diet, exercising, working out, you know, we, we can take our power back with that. So pretty simple hack number one, common sense, keep as healthy as possible. Hack number two, protect your energy, okay? We live in a world where there are unfortunately many, many toxic people, many, many energy vampires that want to steal your energy, perhaps They've got issues, they've got trauma they've not dealt with, so they're looking outside themselves for someone to um, try and heal, and what they do is they take and they take, and it can cause a lot of problems. Um, so be very wary about who you let into your inner circle, whether that be relationships, friends, even family members, you know? So that is really important, and also as well, any kind of energy work, anything like that, taking DMT, ayahuasca, be very careful. I just, I did another video last week about this. Be careful who you let into your energy field because if you let some shaman in or some, you know, just someone random and you don't know what's going on in their personal life, maybe they're drinking a lot, maybe they're still doing drugs, they've opened themselves up to stuff which then can then potentially come through you. So any kind of energy work, any healing, um, I, you know, just be very discerning of who you're allowing into your field. Um, you know, how does that person feel? What kind of energy have they got? I get it all the time. When I do my healing sessions, people go, have gone away, they've sit, gone to see some healer and they've come back worse. Um, it doesn't happen all the time. I'm not trying to fear monger this, you know, there's plenty of good healers out there, but just be very wary of that. And, and like I say, the DMT, the ayahuasca, make sure you're taking it with the right people, you know, doing the protection and, and really taking care of your energy. Okay, so hack number three. This is one that I've had to learn the hard way. Um, there is so much going on out there and really you just want to shout it from the rooftops and get your family and your friends to say, look, it's like, the, it's like if there's a bus coming and like you're trying to tell people to get out of the way and you're going, get out of the way, get out of the way. But in real life it doesn't work and um, you know, there's that old saying, you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink and um, that's what I found. So. Uh, I'm not saying don't tell people what's going on, not at all. I think that we have to, but I think try not to get so emotionally attached to the outcome as to whether or not they listen to you because um, what I've found, particularly with family, is when they don't, I get really down. Why don't they care? You know, and you, you just have to put it out there and just leave it and the right people will listen to you. Try not to get too emotionally involved. A lot of people, they don't want to really look at what's really going on in the world and that's their journey, that's their karma, it's their path. You can only show them the door, so to speak. Okay, so uh, next hack, number four, raise your vibration. We are vibrational beings. We are kept in a low vibration in this reality on purpose um, for these energy vampires through the food, through constant treadmill of life, work, 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 the, the crap that's on the telly, the, the, the constant fear-mongering of the media, wars and deadly viruses, it's all to keep our, low, our vibration low. So do whatever you can to increase your vibration, to raise your vibration, whether that be listening to music that you love, finding people that you can really connect with, um, whatever it might be, 
Just keep an eye on how you're feeling on a day-to-day -day basis. Are you feeling low? If you're feeling low, why are you feeling low? What do you need to do to get you from where you might be at C back up to A again? And um, so very important that we do that because keep our vibration high, that's when things change. Um, hack number five, I love this one, get out in nature. Nature is a healer. If I've ever got anything going on in my life and I'm stressed, anxious, I'm feeling down, you know, I go for a walk on the beach or I go for a walk in the woods, breathe in that pranic air um, and it sorts me out. We are so bombarded with technology now and the irony is I'm filming this on my iPhone um, so I am a little bit of a hypocrite but um, I try and have balance. So we're bombarded with Wi-Fi technology and we are losing our connection to nature and we have to be aware of that and reconnect as much as possible. So next hack, number six, and I'll link this video into this video, drink clean water. We are 80% water ourselves. Um, the water in the tap um, is toxic as fuck, basically. Um, fluoride in many places, chlorine. Um, I'm not just talking about small levels of chlorine, I'm talking about really damaging levels. Uh, neurotoxin, picking up dirt and stuff through the pipes, that's going into your body. Um, I stand by water distillers. Um, I'll put the link in below for the distiller that I recommend. Um, I think they removed like 98.8% of toxins. They're like little Daleks. They sit on your um, desktop, your kitchen desktop. You put four litres in, go to bed, wake up, four litres of clean water. Very, very important. We, we're getting good water down us. Okay, so hack number seven. Build your spiritual core. Now, what I mean by that is your spiritual core is who you really are, your strength, your, your grounding strength. So whether that might be through a yoga practice, chai, tai chi, meditation, um, strengthen that core within you because it just, it makes you enable, sorry, it enables you to deal with life, to deal with what's going on and it just gives you a grounding into who you truly are, not just this meat space suit that we just appear in this world as, um, your core essence. Um, so do something, if you can, to strengthen that. Um, okay, hack number eight, this is a huge one for me, um, inner child work. Um, you see so many people going down the gym, working out there, and healing their bodies, but who really, in general, does the inner stuff? I mean, there's there are people do it that do it, but the the percentages of people that are looking after the physical body compared to their emotional bodies, you know, is very small. And you know, this affects us so much in life. You know, we draw people in on our fractured parts of our child. We've all got a little boy or little girl that has been crying out for us for years, um, wanting our attention, wanting to be healed, and we have to do that work. If we want to attract the right people into our lives, we have to do that inner child work. If we want to heal those triggers, those abandonment wounds, those betrayal wounds that we've got that make us react in certain ways, we have to do that work, and it's not easy, I can tell you been doing it myself for six months, I'm not there yet, but the difference it's making in my life, the way I'm dealing with life and people in general is completely different, okay? Hack number nine, find your purpose, take risks. Nothing ever grows in your comfort zone. Do what you need to do. What is safe doesn't always necessarily mean what is gonna be best for you in the long run. You know, sometimes we have to take those risks step out of our comfort zone. Maybe we have to earn a little bit less money to do what um, we need to do. Um, you know, sometimes we have to do that if we want to get on our true purpose. So take risks and find your purpose. Sit and think and think and think until you get what you really want to do because part of the problem is knowing what you want to do. You don't have to work in a nine to five matrix job. I used to, I don't anymore. Once you make that decision to break free and work out, go for it. 
Hack number 10, final hack, laugh at the matrix. So much weird shit is going on at the moment. If you don't laugh, you'll cry. I've just seen a video of a, a guy that's, that identifies himself as a, as a Dalmatian dog. Um, you, how can you not laugh at something like that? You know, the, the, it's so crazy right now, you've got to, you've got to have a light-hearted attitude to it. And I've not always had that myself, but I find it's a very, very good coping mechanism. So guys, I hope you enjoyed those hacks. Um, if you haven't already, uh, check out my book, Are You, um, oh, I forgot what it's called then, Are You Living or Just Existing? Um, that is available on my website via eKindle, ebook or paperback. Um, my website is www.transcendingtimes.org. You can find that under the book section. Um, yeah, I'll link the other videos into the water distiller um, with this. But I just wanted to put that out there. Have a fantastic week. I hope these have helped you. Please click the subscribe button and um, the bell button to keep updated with new vlogs that I'm doing on a weekly basis, sometimes daily. So yeah, have a great week everyone and I will speak to you very soon. Take it easy.